girls, beat boys, superstar DJs. Here we go! Thakur Rahman in the when during his time was a brand for a woman who was who, who would be able to deal who was ready to wear those things doesn't matter if sometimes they were even uncomfortable they were even uh, not uh, maybe too heavy with me coming to that brand I want to keep the fact that that Thakur Rahman is unconventional it is strong it is daring but I want to. Because today times are different, you know. Today a woman wants to wear something and she wants to probably wear it the whole day and then straight go to a party and then go home. So I want to keep that in mind while I make the collections and especially more in the future collections. Yet at the same time, if you look at the last show, there are pieces which are very uh, special, which are like grabbed by people like Lady Gaga or Madonna or various other artists like uh, Shakira, Kylie Minogue, etc. That part I will not forget. That part will also continue. But I will, I, I will always will remember that today's woman is not the same as the woman in the 60s. I would say, uh, like, like for example, craftsmanship is, is the most common factor we have between me and uh, Paco Roban. It's if you look at the archives, you'll see pieces which are very painstakingly made. Uh, and I think what uh, Paco Roban thought of fashion was took it as a form of art, which I also do for my brand bag in '69, which is uh, back again, and it's kind of the it bag right now. All women are carrying it, women in fashion, and people like Kate Moss or Madonna, or there's a whole list actually of people who are carrying the '69 bag. So I thought that that's, it's a good idea to have that as a part of the first show. So the dress that you see is it's tiny uh, 69 discs, uh, which is made in uh, like a leather coated, uh, holographic coated leather. At the end of the show, the 11 girls who came this amazing metallic paper uh, clothes. I would say for me, that was quite a moment in the show. 